three. The uh, needs were much more clearly seen during the COVID times and a lot of automation was looked at. But of course, when you are dealing with physical hardware, it's not an invention cycle of um, a system ready in three months. So you need to have the time to develop the actual systems. But nowadays you can also have the um, international situation where you need to have more automation. You are here in a labor shortage situation. Um, therefore, you need more automation, more robotization. People just realized that um, actually a less interaction became a bit more important for the for the house. <laughs> so uh, that was the way, for example, in uh, some of the industry, we uh, re replaced uh, Ari Robot as a receptionist because, like there, actually the contact uh, with the human to human was became uh, like less important, let's say, and then the robot could act in this kind of task uh, like like a worker so kind of receiving you in the reception giving you the information um, uh, like company you I don't know to your appointment like this kind of uh, thing became very very important hi remember to sanitize your hands Thanks. Have a great day. So it has a camera here which is uh, tracking my face. It doesn't record uh, my face, it's just tracking where I am. Uh, so it recognizes where I am. And when it sees that I come in the picture, then it offers me hand sanitization. It talks to me. It says, hi, so remember to sanitize my, your hands. And then I put my hand here and then it thanks me for, for sanitizing my hands, right? Remember to sanitize your hands. Thanks. Have a great day. I think uh, people are, are more open to see them around, and especially with the nursing shortage, you know, that's hitting uh, Europe and Western Europe mostly, I suppose, maybe. Uh, so we need uh, more, um, uh, let's say, devices, you know, to replace the the nurses who are not there, right? So, so uh, people who are, are not there. So uh, that's why robots are really important at hospitals because we just don't have the people to do all the tasks that are needed to be done.
pesticides are, are a lot more environmental and friendly as, as a robot like this is. And also uh, other uh, benefits of this are, well, if you don't want to use the pesticides, commonly used is a lot of labor intensive uh, manual weeding. So uh, by doing that, a robot which can run 24 seven, we can uh, really uh, increase the, the the, 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 the wheat removal and, and because uh, uh, don't have any uh, environmental uh, harm. Growth topics. Yes, yes, exactly. Position control. If you think of like data centers, so if you've got a big data center in the middle of nowhere and there's only one person that can do that job, it's, if something breaks down, you don't want to have them to fly all the way there, so they could essentially put on the gloves that wherever they are and complete the task from their home or their office or anywhere. No.